So one thing may have struck you, and that is that using div elements on a page, just cut it up into smaller sections, can be a little bit meaningless. Unless you start to look at the IDs and the classes, there's really no way to tell what any section is. And the World Wide Web Consortium, who are also known as the W3C, they're the people who are behind the standards of the web, the things that we all follow on the web. And they noted that, that there were many similarities to many of the websites. They were seeing that designers were employing the same kinds of IDs and classes to things. So they wanted to make these tags have more semantic meaning. So they wanted to restructure them. So they introduced some new tags in HTML5. These are the newer tags that were introduced. They are article, aside, details, fig caption, figure, footer, header, main, mark, nav, section, summary, and time. And the ones that you're probably likely to use the most, uh, the ones that I see the most anyway, are article, aside, footer, header, main, nav, and section. I do see the others as well, but those are the ones that I see all the time. And so how do you go about using these? It's actually exactly the same. Well, you would write a div, you just would write instead, maybe it's the top part of your page, so you would put a header in there. And in that way, it makes it more meaningful to you as you look at that, and it makes it more meaningful to search engines as well. This is how you might end up using it. So as I said, you may start at the top of your page with a header. Following that, your navigation might be there, so you put your nav in, in there. Then you may have a sidebar over to the left or right, wherever it might be. So you would call it a side section, article, those kinds of things repeated on the page, a footer at the bottom. Those are the kinds of things you might expect to see on a web page. And if you've seen a blog, this probably looks a lot like a blog right now. To go ahead and use that, you just use it in the same way and you can apply IDs or classes to them so that then you can target them with CSS. So here, your, your header may have an ID of home. It may have a class of introduction. To target both of those in CSS, you would do hash home, the same as you have done already, and dot introduction. So that's just a simple introduction to some of the other tags that you might end up using. So it might be a good idea for you just to go back into your page and try and add in some of those more semantic tags. So now you can just see inside here, I've changed some of the divs that we had before into more meaningful semantic tags. So you can see I have article wrapping the whole thing rather than just a meaningless div. Then I actually moved the navigation out if we were gonna have a navigation bar, it wouldn't necessarily be inside an article. Maybe that link would, but probably not the navigation bar itself. Then I've got a section here. The section just has, uh, I've called it quote, class quote, there's the block quote. Another section with info for info on how to cook it. Another section uh, closing there. And the section after that is the ingredient section and another section, which is the method. So we can see that we start to add structure and content to the page that makes it much easier when we come to try and design this and make it look unique and individual.